everyone, it's Anne Picard Vandering from The Rooms and I'm going to teach you how to make a paper flower. Um, the first thing you'll need is a strip of paper for your stem. You'll also need a strip of paper for your flower petals and a square of paper for your leaves. You're going to use scissors and a glue stick. We'll begin by making the stem and to start that you need to curl the corner of your strip of paper just like this. If you have trouble curling it with your thumbs, you can put it on a paintbrush or a pencil and start the curl that way. And once that curl is there, all you're going to do is roll that piece of paper. You can see I'm doing it on an angle, and I'm gonna to try to keep it as much on an angle as I can, and keep rolling this until I get to the very, very end. I'd like this stem to be long and thin, and it's a little too short, so I'll show you a trick that you can use in order to lengthen it. And what you'll do is untwist and retwist. So that again, untwisting and then retwisting, and that's going to allow you to make that stem longer. Then you'll have this little triangular piece here, and that's where we will take some glue and put it on there, and then continue to roll. And then I'll roll that back and forth a little bit in my fingers just to make sure that the glue has stuck. Part two is your petals. So we have our sheet of paper here and you're gonna run some glue just along one edge lengthwise like this. I have a piece of paper on my desk so that I don't get glue all over it. And you'll turn your paper over and just press that glue in place. You don't want to put the crease in this part of the paper. It's gonna look like that. So you're only putting the, cre the, the glue on the edge and not putting a crease here. Next thing is to make our snips for the petals. So you're cutting a fringe, basically, um, and leaving the glued part of the paper uncut. So you'll continue to make these cuts until you've gone the entire length of the strip of paper. Once you have that, you're going to run glue all the way down on the uncut part of your petals just like this. And then take your stem and lay it down kind of on an angle and we'll just peel up that corner edge and glue it on. You can see there. I'll hold it down a little bit, make sure it sticks and then turn it one time and keep that angle happening. And I'll hold this just at the very beginning when you're starting. Now all you need to do is roll. You can even use your stem and twist it and just roll it all the way. And, and I'm using my fingers on this side to press the paper so that it glues right onto the stem. I'll keep going the entire length of this sheet of petals. By the time I get to the end, chances are pretty high that my glue has started to dry. So I'm going to put some more on just on the end right here. And continue to roll that. When I get to the very end, 
I'm going to hold it in place. Make sure the glue sticks, maybe even twist it a little bit in my fingers. Now what you'll do, all these petals need to come down. So you just take your finger and you go boop, bloop, bloop. And you'll go up the entire length until you've got all your petals opened up. Then we're ready to make our leaves. So with the leaves, what you want to do is fold your paper in an accordion five times. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And I have a little bit left over here, so I'm going to trim that away. Now, if you look at it from one side, there's three creases. And if you look at it from the other side, you can see there's four. You want to cut from the side with the most, with the four. And you'll make a cut that comes in, but leave some of it uncut, maybe half to three quarters of a centimeter. And then, you're going to come in here and just cut a leaf shape. You can trace one on if you want, or you can just sort of eyeball it. There we go. So I'll now open up my leaves and give it a little help. There. So finally, I'll put glue all down this strip right here. And then I'm gonna take my flower and go slightly on an angle and hold that little bit down first to make sure it sticks. And then just roll or twist. to attach your leaves. We'll continue then, I'm gonna to continue to push all of these down and you'll find in the end a beautiful bouquet, just ready to uh, brighten up your space. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this activity.